Regarding CM Punk. Yeah, they turned him down. That's the so, story, huh? Um, yeah. Take us through all of this from the beginning. What happened? What did you report on the... Well, the, the decision was a no. They, they you know, I mean, he, he wanted to go there, and the decision was a no. I mean, it can always change. And it was brought up to me that, like, look, there's no such thing as no forever when it comes to WWE, but it's it's no for now. Yeah. Well, there you um, go. That was the decision that was made. Um, you know, it's Vince's decision. You know, Vince, Nick Khan, Paul Levesque. And obviously, they decided that the negatives outweighed the positives. And you can't argue with that. I mean, it was like, you know, I mean, there was negatives. There was positives. There was past dealings. And... Um, you know, I mean, it was a different situation than the last time, but they did. If you remember, you know, there were, there were two other opportunities once with um, when Fox pressured them to take him and Vince said, you know, anyone else but him? No. And then, um, I mean, the second time, which was, um, you know, about what was it um, about 10 months ago? You know, I mean, they were talking again at that point, you know, but he was still under contract to AEW. And I was told that that would be a no, but it's easy to say it's a no because there's no chance they could get him because of the contract. But this time, you know, they could, and they decide to pass. So, Aren't you not supposed to talk to the other side when you're under contract? Well, like that never happens. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that is the update, everyone.